Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have a brand new Black Lion chest, the Eternal Fate chest, which has a really cool new sword. And then we also have the Fluffy Samoyed Jackal skin as well. Uh, because I didn't get the day off tomorrow, I'm going to be focusing the demo giveaway today, starting the playthrough of the new chapter, and then I'm going to get back into doing just weekly videos. So we'll do the epilogue this Friday, and then every subsequent Friday we'll have the next part, and then when we finish the new chapter of End of Dragons, we'll go back to Season 1. And yeah, that is the current plan. We'll get into that later, though. Let's start off with the demo. We're going to start off with the brand new Black Lion chest. Here we go, the Eternal Fate chest. So, we are looking at a green die canister, perfect for Paddy's Day coming up. Uh, we've got our regular stuff in common. In uncommon, we have draconic weapons, which look pretty cool. We have the Devil Rending Cape from last time, but also the new Fate Unraveling Sword, which I'm kind of hoping to get because it looks pretty cool. It looks good on Revenant, actually. It has the sort of right style for Rev. Uh, the right sort of uh, wind effect, I think. Like the similar to the axe, isn't it? Uh, we also have the Endless Ocean weapons in rare with the Glyph of Volatility and Crucible. As well as the Omnon Berry Harvesting Node, Ghost Pepper Harvesting Node, Ori Harvesting Node, and Ancient Wood. And then, of course, our Super Rares down here. So, ideally, we're going to get the Fate Unraveling Sword. We have 25 keys. And also, at the moment, Black Line Chess Keys are on sale, if that interests you. So, let's get it going here. As you can see, I did clear out my inventory somewhat. And by that, I mean <laughs> not at all. But we got some transmutation charges. Got a few. Uh, Suwan die. Nice. Got some crafting materials. Got a guaranteed wardrobe unlock. Also quite nice. This is the Oreen die kit. Got a lot of dragon die kits at the moment, I think. Let's see the one. Lion's Arch as well. And this one, which is toxic. No guaranteed items yet. How will we do as we go forward? We've got all of the die kits now. That's ten keys down. Got another end of dragon's material bag. I mean, they're not too shabby. But, oh, there's a armor unlock. Oh, actually, I didn't check to see if there's a new weapon set. There might be. That would be cool. Some tier 6 crafting materials. Nine keys left. To try and get this new sword. I mean, ideally, actually, would get the cape as well. Because the cape is leaving after this chest, which is probably about four or five weeks, typically. So maybe when Sab comes around, which Sab is earlier this year, which is really annoying me. So I took the week off for, for that, and then they put it earlier this year again. And they said they wanted it after April 1st last year. <laughs> uh, so the only thing we got is Draconic Shortbow skin. Which is pretty nice. I mean, pretty cool. These Draconic weapons, but, but not what I had in mind. Do we? No, we still have the Reflective Koi weapons. I'll be on my but we might just have a cheeky look at a golden key. And see if that gets us. Oh, it does. Nice. Happy days. Lovely. Well, let's break down our gear then. Here we go. Consume all these transmutation charges. They're not needed, really. We only got three ticket scraps. I don't think we got a claim ticket at all. Let's go for our dies. So, in the fine dies, we got Earthen. Eighty-three copper. Didn't sell. We got deep teal. There we go. Fourteen copper. We got sour die. Eight copper. We got bronze die. Six copper. We got fog die. 97 copper. Sherbet. 92 copper. Brook. A silver 19. Aqua tint. Two silver 75. We're starting to get up there now. The Sherbet didn't sell. Don't know why it didn't sell, but. Okay, we're getting errors. We got Sea Frost, which is a silver 23. We got Dusk. 78 copper. We've got two fuchsia dies, which are 129 each, or 128 and 129. We've got two celestial dies. They're 650 each. That's not too bad. Six gold 50. Oh, I only sold one. Oops. Or 
or listed one, I should say. We got a prismatic die, which you don't have yet. That goes for 23 to 80. That's pretty nice. And we got a crisp mint die. Which is only worth two silver. Let's go for our tier or heavy tier crafting bags. I mean, not too shabby. I mean, free materials, kind of free materials, is always nice. End of dragons. Got some fish. Got some jadeite, nice. And the large materials. Here we go. Got a good few trophies, which is nice. Going to sell those trophies soon, I think. Almost have a full stack. Next up, we got the wardrobe unlock. We got the mini white scale hatchling and the mist shard gambeson. Here's our armor. We got the mist shard pauldron and the bladed pauldron, which is annoying because I should really have that by now. It's hard of thorns. And we didn't get any just weapon unlock. So I guess that is it for the black lion chest. We did get the D draconic shortbow skin. So that's this chap here. I showed him earlier and he is worth... 1 to 10 gold. Not too bad. Uh, so yeah, that is the Black Lion chest. We'll take a look at the Fate Unraveling sword when we get to a character with sword. But for now, let's go check out the new Fluffy Samoid Jackal. Here we go. Okay, so here is the Fluffy Samoid Jackal skin, and he is lovely. Look at him. Ah... He's got a bit of a teleport effect, which seems to be affected by one or two possible die channels. His engage and disengage abilities don't seem to... Oh, I can't go through that door. It's the next one. Don't seem to affect uh, much. All in all, it looks like a very solid jackal skin. A bit of clipping through the hair. but not much. Let's see if it has a unique idol. Here we go. Ooh. I don't think that's new, but I haven't seen that one often. Give him one more chance to do something cool. Oh, I moved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nah, it looks default. Right. Really, as soon as I, I do something, <laughs> as soon as I put the hood back, he does something. Uh, so the dyes that we have on at the moment is cream shade with amber and then hazel and wine down below. Default is mithril, mithril, terracotta and midnight violet. And that is what this looks like here. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, the die channels definitely do affect the teleportation ability. Let's go full Shadow Abyss and see what is and isn't diable. So, it looks like everything but the harness uh, is diable, which is pretty standard these days. So, top left is most of the fur of the dog. Top right is kind of a highlight layer on his coat. Bottom left is the color of the saddle. Oh, that is more dialed than I thought. And bottom right is his eyes and something else. Is it just his eyes? Just his eyes. Okay. And there we go. Here is our contrasting layer. So we've blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right, which really only affects the eyes and the teleportation ability. Oh, God, why do I go on the water every time? So the teleportation ability is affected by the green and orange layers, which is the two right layers, green on top and orange down below. And then the blue that you get afterwards seems to be the top left as well. So it looks like it's affected by three layers. 
Alright, well there we have the Samoyed skin. Let's head on to all the different races of Tyria. We'll check out the sword on a couple races. Definitely our Revenant and anyone else really. Maybe our Elementalist as well on Human. Uh, and the Jackal across the, the board as well. Here we go. Here we are on Silvari with the new fluffy Samoyed Jackal skin. And we also have the new sword skin right here. Out right away. Uh, the new sword skin right there, that is the sword when stowed. So that aura is completely gone. Semi Jackal looks really well, I still think. Uh, I do like all the more canine jackals, mainly because I've just I've grown up with dogs and I'm a dog lover, so sorry. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the sword. Ooh, it looks pretty interesting. It's a bit kind of conical, uh, which seems interesting. I don't see how that would really, I don't know. I know it's meant to be magic, but it looks just kind of like a, a hair dryer or something. <laughs> Is there anyone we can take a look at? Let's have a look at this trap here. It looks pretty decent. Uh, I think it would look great with Revenant's aura in itself, because they have a sort of a grey, blue, ready aura already, if I recall correctly. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. And I like the design. I like how it spins around. It looks kind of inquesty as well. So if you had an inquest character, I think it would work well. It'd be like an inquest elementalist. Could look pretty good, because it has that sort of. A Surin Inquest vibe going with it. Okay, let's have a look at the color scheme on our Jackal here. We have Old Nickel and Robin up top with Grape Gum and Pyre down below. I like the Pyre on the eyes. I think the Old Nickel looks alright, but it would be better as a highlight with a clearer white as the main body. Okay, let's move on to human. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna look great with uh, Korra. I mean, think about that. Will it look like Naga? Oh, I hope it looks like Naga. Okay, I think it's too fluffy to be Naga. I think uh, all it's nearing the polar bear dog vibe. So, and I already have the, the the jackal died for Naga. Like, it's. Crush bone with white gold and shadow abyss. Do I? What's the other dog like one that I was using? Oh yeah, the mastiff. It's not quite as good because it's sandy. I thought there was another one recently. Maybe the Sheba, I guess. Ooh, the Oceanic Vulpine looks pretty cool. This dice game. Anyway. Uh, here we go with the fluffy samoyed on human and we do of course have the sword as well I don't know if I have two swords on this character if I do I will dual wield and have a look at that Ooh. aha let me run away from you actually so you don't annoy me stop annoying me looks really good though this skin. Oh, there's a cow in the way. I was trying to get the shot with the, the windmill there in the background. Looks really, really nice. I really like this this jackal. So as I said, the dies here were crushed bone with what was the last one? Crushed bone on top, shadow base in the bottom right, and then white gold as well. And I think it looks pretty great. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that right now. I was going to change my... That's a dagger. Okay, I don't even have a sword. But here we go with the sword on human in a combat situation. And uh, my inventory is full. My mail is full too. Okay. Uh, there is the sword on 
human and Ellie. I think of all the the classes, I feel like Ellie is going to suit it the best, just because it's an ele elemental sword. Actually, no. Revenant. Sorry, I'm sticking to Revenant. Uh, looks pretty good, though. Let's head on over to our next character, which should be Norn. Here we are on Norn with the new jackal skin with piercing blue eyes. Looking very well again. The eyes... Mm, the blue doesn't suit him as well. But I think that's because his eyes aren't as animated as you would want for a... Like, they're a bit, they're a bit static. But, I mean, for a mount, it's fine. Don't get me wrong. I just have a... Why is there no... There we go. No aura effect. <laughs> oh, I don't have a J-bot on this character. That's awkward. Well, let's have a look at the sword. There we go. Getting much larger now as we head up the character model scale. But still looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. The dies on the jackal here. We have old nickel and gold on top with gold and sea foam down below for the eyes. Nice. Let's head on to Revenant and Char. Here we go. Oh, that's not Revenant. That's Revenant, but not Char. And finally, here we are on Char with a very nice color on the harness today, actually. I quite like this. And we've got our dual wield new sword skin that we're going to take a look at. And I like the eye color on this one as well. It's a brown. There's some Shadow Abyss it looks like in there. Looks quite good. Quite good indeed. Let's have a look at the swords. I kind of want to fight something with this. Can I fight you? No. Where can I fight something that's easy to get to? Uh, what's the dailies today in Season 3? We'll just go there. Right. I want to go find someone to kill. Actually, quickly, I want to look at the dies while we're heading to find something to kill. So, the dies on this jackal. We have... Oh, that's the beetle. We have Tarn Steel and Shadow Abyss on top with Enameled Solitude and Lava down below. I like lava for the eyes. It's a nice color. And here is a tiger to take on. See, that's why I feel like this sword will work well with Revenant, because we have all this sort of misty effect already. And do I have axe on here? No, I don't. I have hammer. I just feel like it works well. And there we go. Nice. Right, well, let's head back to Quando, wrap up the video. And actually, I do want to check out the new trailer as well before I take my break and grab my dinner. So here we go. Yeah, you toss that magical infused sword. Right. Let's head back to Quando. Here we go. Well, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. Check out this week's giveaway to win with a chance to win the Jackal or the Keys for yourself. The link for that should be in the end screen. I'm going to go grab some dinner and then start the new chapter of End of Dragons. As I said, I'm expecting to release the last part of the base End of Dragons, which would be the epilogue, uh, on Friday. And then every Friday after that, do... At first, a chapter of the new part of End of Dragons. And then move on to Living World Season 1 after that. 
uh, my playthrough of that. I have it all recorded, so just need to uh, edit it and release it. And as I said a lot recently, sorry for being just so slammed recently. Uh, just been trying to find a house and caught up with work and stuff. And it's unfortunately probably going to get a lot harder in the next few weeks because there's a eviction ban that's being lifted most likely in Ireland, which means everyone who their landlords wanted to evict them in the last year is going to be evicted on March 1st, I think it is. And then in April, all the hotels are discontinuing their contracts to house Ukrainian refugees. So all the Ukrainians are also going to be looking for a place to live. So it's it's a bit of a a perfect storm brewing. Um, but yeah, we'll find somewhere eventually, hopefully. Anywho, thanks for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, actually, I'm going to go check out the the trailer before I leave you. Let's do that. We have annotations off. So this is the trailer for the new chapter of End of Dragons. Haven't seen it yet. Looking forward to it. Also, hello. <laughs> uh, what lies beneath? Only 40 seconds long. Let's turn off the game sound real quick. Okay, yeah. Um, let's check out what lies beneath. A moment of peace. Oh. Shattered by Got lots of void there. Don't provoke what lies beneath. Ooh. Exciting. Now, from what I've seen, all I've seen is that we're going to Gaiala, which would be the hatchery from uh, Guild Wars 1, where they hatched all the turtles, if I recall correctly. So that's going to be really cool. Get some more maybe Luxon lore. And that kind of looked like Behe. Where was that? Be like a Minotaur or like a Oxen sort of style beastie. Void beastie. Looks pretty cool. It seems like... Uh, I did record a video on this, but I don't think I put it out. If I ran out of time. But it seems like what they're doing this cycle is pretty much leaving the world. Uh, it seems like they only kind of made up their mind to do this expansion thing after they started this production. Just because this seems very living world. It's one map, it looks like. They've got the, the, the title. I mean, I don't know. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know. I think if it's done well, what they're saying will be really cool. Um, it just seems weird to have announced it. For future expansions as well and to have given such rigid uh like requirements where they they think they specific specify the amount of maps you get at launch and stuff like that which seems a bit weird because you think it'd be different for each expansion but we'll see how it goes uh, i'm looking forward to it and i should be playing it hopefully in about 90 minutes i'm gonna edit and eat and upload and then play looking forward to it uh, anyway, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care.